What's happening guys and welcome back to Slice. Just want to start this video off by saying thank you to everyone who subscribed so far. We've just hit a thousand. I just appreciate you all and just hope we can see many many more subscribers in the future. With that being said, let's get straight into today's video. We're making a super silky hummus. I'm going to show you a few tips that you can use to make your hummus so silky and perfect. You're going to love it. Let's go. We're starting off with our ingredients. I'm just going to show you what it looks like in relation to one tin of chickpeas. So if you're going with one tin of chickpeas, we need one teaspoon of baking powder, one heaped teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cumin powder, one teaspoon of paprika. You'll need the juice of half a lemon, about one whole garlic clove, and two heaped tablespoons of tahina paste or sesame paste. Now we've got to ask ourselves the question, what is the enemy to having silky smooth hummus? And the answer to that is primarily due to the chickpea skin. They don't really blend up that well and so they'll leave these little bits and they won't really sort of give it that good texture that you're looking for. So what we're going to do is try to remove these. Now you'll find that just by squeezing a chickpea the skin will come off quite easily. But you're not really going to sit there and skin all those chickpeas. I mean you can, it'll just take too long. So if you want to speed this process up, what we're going to do is combine the tin of chickpeas with a teaspoon of baking powder Fill it up with some boiling water, just let it boil for a couple minutes and you're going to start to see all these skins just sort of loosen up and float to the top. What we're going to do then is just rinse these out very gently, making sure that the sort of skins don't go down your sink, just catch them with a sort of sable strainer or anything like that. And then put your chickpeas on the side. So we're then going to combine all the other ingredients, the lemon juice, the olive oil, the garlic, the tahina, the spices, all into one sort of jug or whatever you've got really. Just blend them up until they're a nice smooth paste and then go ahead and add in your chickpeas, blending them as best as you can. When you've reached the point where you just can't blend anymore, then you can add some boiling water bit by bit, just to sort of ease that up. And then when you get to that workable consistency, you can just blend and you just gotta keep, keep blending it until it's absolutely perfectly smooth. You won't need to pass through a sieve, you won't need to do anything, because it will just be perfectly smooth without those skins. And when you've done that, you can just go ahead and serve it up. I've just gone and sort of roughly sort of mixed it around in a bowl. And I'm just going to sprinkle a few, you can put whatever you want on it, some sumac, some mint, some zatar. You can even just keep it simple, go with some olive oil and some sea salt on top, up to you. And this goes perfectly with different kinds of bread, it goes perfectly as a side dish, you have it however you want. Thank you so much for watching today's video guys, thank you for a thousand subscribers. Please like, subscribe, follow me on my socials at slice underscore yt on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, everything. I'll see you next week, bye.